for us, you know, losing a head coach, you know, someone that we trust and, and, and put in our, a lot of hard work in throughout the weeks with him. And um, I mean, it's tough. It's a tough situation, but um, I feel like we moved on pretty quickly from it, and, and we and we practiced pretty hard this week. So I feel like we had a um, a very great mindset throughout this week. I think a lot of people noticed or you said that there was a different energy in practice and on the field. Did you guys feel that? And how do you think that that translated in the performance? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's definitely um, a more energized practice. And um, we all felt it as a team. Um, we sped up the tempo of practice a little bit and we got a little more competition in. So um, I think that's great for us as a team. And, and I think, um, you know, we, we have eight games left. Um, I mean, everybody knows. Everything's not going to change you know, in one game, you know. So um, I feel like we just have to build off um, the last week and keep being better. Emery, after the Tamarcus interception, uh, you guys had a chance going in, in closer to the red zone. You guys just sort of stalled out. How much of a factor throughout the game was just those chances going into their, their side but not being able to finish those? Wait, say that one more time, Just please. with the, the big chances that you guys had going in onto their side, just how much of a factor was it in terms of not being able to finish those drives? How do you grow from, from that? Um, just execute, honestly. Um, when we get in those situations where our defense makes turnovers, we have to capitalize, and, and we weren't able to do that. Um, that's something we have to get better at as an offense and, and just dig into throughout the week. Devil's Digest. Um, just uh, going forward for you, um, you know, last week you missed some throws that were, you know, a little bit high. This week, kind of the same thing. Just uh, going forward, just again, how, how do you get better at that? And, and are, are you confident you can make those plays going forward? Of course. Um, I'm confident in doing everything that my coach is asking me on the field. Uh, my, my teammates are most confident in everything I can do on the field. And um, I mean, Football is a hard game. You know, you get in situations where you have to move off platform and, you know, um, you got guys right in your face. And, that, I mean, it happens sometimes. Cool. Hey, Emery, Cole Thompson, Devil's Digest. It seemed like you had a lot of manageable third down situations, which the team wasn't able to convert. Um, you know, why, why was it so difficult to convert against this Utah defense in that scenario? Um, I feel like um, we just didn't really execute, honestly. Um, a couple of third downs were on me. I threw a couple of high balls on, on third downs, and, and we had to get off the field. And that's something that um, I might have to clean up, and, and, and I'll do that for sure. And then those two interceptions seemed like it was a, a opposite hash rope to Charles Hall that got picked. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, the interception to Swinson was kind of behind him. What, what did you see on those on those First plays? one, um, the guy made a great play, honestly. He was playing probably eight yards off. Um, um, he made a great play. He jumped it. I mean, they have great players on their team, too, and um, that's football. And the second one, um, I was kind of expecting my guy to do something a little different. But, um, I mean, they blitzed. They was in those, um, a cover zero and, and blitzed all their guys. And, um, I mean, I had to get the ball off quick, and I did that, and it was a little behind. It was just a little miscommunication on, that, um, on our part. Joey Vaca, Inferno Intel. That decision to go for it on fourth down, and I think it was the third quarter when you guys were in field goal range, mm -hmm. to not convert there, do you feel like that causes any sort of momentum change for the offense as a unit going forward? Um, I mean, not really. I mean, we conf I mean uh, we're confident in, in our ability to go out there and make plays and convert in any situation. So I don't think it's um, a momentum change that we um, are going to digress or – Anything like that. I think we're um, we just have to keep getting better throughout the week and and, and execute um, a lot better. Chris, Amy over here. Chris Cartman, Sunday with Source. Um, uh, offenses run the ball well in the first few games, but tonight not so much, and that contributed to being behind the chains mm -hmm. quite a bit. So, what do you think were the factors that sort of contributed to that? Um, I think we came out trying to throw the ball a little more, and um, I mean. I took some sacks. Um, I mean, we got to protect better. And I mean, like you said, we got behind the chains a little bit. Um, and I mean, it's kind of tough to run the ball behind the sticks, you know what I mean? And um, I didn't play my best ball today. Um, that's something that I have to lock into um, this week and, and make sure that I uh, give my guys the best chance to win. Do you think that um, 
the changes that, that Sean has implemented over the last week uh, has a lot of promise for what it will do for you guys collectively? Yeah, definitely. I think um, we definitely were a better team today than we were last week. Uh, we, I mean, we played with a lot of heart, a lot of fight. Um, I mean, like I said, we just got to execute better. I got to play better. Um, we just got to stay on top of everything that we do and, and just focus. And I mean, I mean, like I said earlier, um, the changes that were made, um, I mean, nothing would be changed in a game or in one week, you know. Um, but I, I do think the changes that Coach Aguano made um, would be, I mean, very good for our team for the rest of this season. I, and I feel like we'll definitely improve uh, game by game. Emery, Emery uh, coming out of the tunnel, um, just everyone locked in arms like that. Uh, what kind of statement do you guys try to present when you were when doing like that? And just how was that moment like for you? I mean, it's just a family thing for us. Uh, we all locked arms, and we know we got each other back. We all in this together, and and, and that's where we are. I mean, um, I mean, the head coach got fired this week. I mean, we look at each other, and I mean, that's all we have in this team. Um, so I mean. We're just going to stick together for the rest of this season, offense and defense. Um, just keep trying to get better every single week. I mean, uh, we're in a good headspace. Um, I mean, obviously, we hate uh, losing. But, I mean, we're going to I mean, come back tomorrow and attack the week and be ready to go for USC. Emory Scott Sanduli, House of Sparky. Uh, you face some serious pressure into the po in the pocket tonight from one of the nation's most ferocious defenses. Did that pressure wear you, you and the offense down as the game went on? Um, I wouldn't say it, it was down, but I would say, I mean, it was, it, I mean, it's tough. I mean, we get put behind the sticks on sacks, and, and I kind of got a little antsy in the pocket at times and kind of um, started looking at the rush a little bit. Um, but that's something that, I mean, I have to get better at. Um, the offensive line has to protect better. Running backs have to protect better. But, I mean, we all in this together. I got those guys back. They have mine. And, um, I mean, like I said, we all in this together. Um, I mean, I talked to those guys after, and it's just, like, right now, just, I mean, just improving on on what we have to improve on from this game and, I mean, get better for next week. That's it. Emery, oh. it seemed like there was more of an effort to involve you in the rushing game in the second half. Was that a discussion that you had at halftime? Um, and, you know, what did it offer the offense? No, nah, I mean, I was just doing what um, the defense um, presented. Um, the end shot, the, uh, uh, shot to the running back a little bit, and I got some pulls and got to get on the edge a little bit. Um, but I mean, I mean, when I'm running and passing, I mean, I feel like we're a better offense. So. Thank you, Emery. All right, appreciate y'all. Mm -hmm.